In this video, I'm going to take some stock footage of a wave that I found and I'm going to turn it into a cool custom transition of a wave wipe. So to begin, I've just found some stock footage of a wave. You can find something similar online or just use any sort of clip. This doesn't necessarily have to be this clip. And step one into turning this into a transition is extracting out the black and white values from it. So I'm going to go to the effects panel and search for one called extract. And I'll add that onto this video clip and this will pull out the black and white levels. You have an option to invert it or not because the white is what's going to reveal itself and the black is going to disappear. I guess it doesn't really matter sometimes. It is just black and white. They're mirrors of each other. But let's begin by getting as close to possible as complete black as we can. So I'm going to just mess around with these levels. Now, depending on the softness, I do want a little bit of softness. We might have some white specks that are hard to get rid of. And I'll show you how to deal with that after. You can also think about scaling or cropping in, but we're going to add a little bit of opacity keyframes after to fix that. And then as we go on to the clip, oh, we're actually going to add keyframes. So click the stopwatch icon at the very first frame. And then as we go on, when we want our transition to be done, we're going to adjust these levels so that everything is total white. So let's go like that. If I play this back, I just want to get a nice gradual effect. Maybe I'll add a little keyframe here. If you ever click on the add or remove keyframes, it'll add one at the current position. That way we can get a little bit more gradual of a wipe. So I've just added one keyframe and then it slowly gets to this one and then it quickly wipes out into pure white. And this is where is our transition. One last thing I'm, I'm going to do, like I mentioned, is I'll add an opacity keyframe starting at zero and then going to 100. So that way we truly start out with black and then go to white. So now the hard part's done. Now all we got to do is drag our two desired sequences or clips onto our timeline, one on top of the other, and then our black and white video on a track above everything. So in this case, it's on V4, whatever track it's on for you. We're going to go to the effects panel and search for track matte key. And we're going to add that onto our top video clip or sequence. And in the effect controls panel, we can find the track matte key. And we simply want to choose the matte layer to be the one that that black and white video we just created is on. So in my case, that's on video four, V4, whatever it is for you, it might be different. And I don't want to use matte alpha. I actually want to use matte luma. And now we've taken the ocean clip and we've used those values to create a transition of our own. So play around with the track mat key and different ways to use it. You don't even have to use it for transitions. You can also just use it as a cool way to blend and composite multiple videos. My name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments, leave a like and check out my channel and subscribe for tons more similar and new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.